What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today we're taking a look at Descript, which is one of the most advanced AI-powered creative platforms for video and audio content and social media video that I have come across to date. In the growing world of content mediums, we find ourselves capturing in all different formats and different categories, including tech, home, cars, travel, cinematics and all that kind of stuff because I do have a lot of interests. For managing all of these different mediums, one of my biggest challenges has been distribution. Being able to cut all of this high quality video into the different formats and lengths Descript enables faster, easier, and more professional looking content creation for modern marketing professionals. And I'm gonna show you guys all of the different features in terms of just being able to cut a long video down to a shorter one, edit the script like you would out of a Google Doc, make revisions, and take advantage of AI tools that are able to synthesize your content, as well as some of the audio tools that are able to refine your audio. Just like a lot of our AI episodes, I'm gonna be giving away a Mac mini in this episode. So if you'd like to win, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below with your Instagram username so someone from my team can contact you in two weeks. And I also wanna give a huge thanks to Descript for sponsoring this video. And we're gonna be using actual videos that I have on my channel to show you the power of Descript and how it is able to take our existing content and reformat it. And honestly, it works really well. It also has your virtual assistant built in called Underlord and you can tell it what you would like in terms of how you'd like it to edit your videos, maybe have it cut down to a certain length, have a certain look, generate visuals and all that kind of stuff while still giving you the manual control to actually edit the video yourself. And so that combination of an AI assistant and also having the AI tools at your disposal has been a very easy workflow to implement. Let's talk about some of the features. The first big one is text-based editing. As soon as I upload my video to Descript, it will actually transcribe the entire thing. And I find this very useful. Say we have a 30 minute A-roll or 60 minute A-roll that needs to be cut down to like an eight minute video. The usual way is to actually use the blade tool and trim different parts of your talking head video. But now you can actually just go to the script, delete certain words and segments out of it, full sentences, and it will use AI to ensure the transition is natural the next thing is captions. Instant transcriptions with industry leading speed and accuracy generates captions instantly in 20 languages. So we can just go ahead and have all the captions on screen. And this is very handy for short form content. And you can pick the font and the different styles. And that is like a good standard feature that is built in. Screen recordings are also very handy. So built in screen recorder allows you to capture your screen or webcam and start editing immediately. And when it comes to AI audio enhancements, you can edit clarity automatically that finds and cuts filler words and ramble. It can also instantly remove any repeated or bad takes, which is probably the most common thing when it comes to making videos like this. Studio Sound enables AI powered background noise removal and voice enhancement with a single click. And Regenerate allows you to use AI to smooth out dialogue, fix mismatched tones, or you can also use Descript to clone your voice and create high quality audio simply by typing, which is something that I've talked about. So all these features are great for anyone who is making long form YouTube videos, short form for your business and want to repurpose different formats, take existing content, which a lot of times we spend 95% of our resources making a long form video and we then like to repurpose it to a short form based on a certain criteria or length. But I also think for podcasters out there, this is also a really good one stop shop to be able to cut the entire episode, especially if you have guests that sometimes maybe aren't as seasoned or used to the camera and you end up having a lot of length in the episode that then has to be cut down to a more efficient point. So now it's time to jump into some examples here. And if you take a look at the Descript interface, it shows you what you want to do right here. You can upload a file or describe what you want to make. So you can decide if you want to just add an existing video or you want to actually create and film it within Descript. And you can see it gives you some ideas of editing video, creating an avatar, edit a podcast, create social clips, translate and dub, turn slides into video and all that kind of stuff. And you can also take advantage of its popular features such as AI Video Maker or Create AI Speaker. In this case, we're going to be using existing videos that have been on the channel before. So on my recent trip to Rome with Mercedes, we were able to check out their new car, the CLA, which was really exciting. We made a whole film out of it, but 
it was really busy and we ended up with a video that is relatively long, but we'd like to cut it down into like a short form, talking about the car, but also showing the cinematic experience. As you can see, just from actually importing the video here, it shows the entire episode and eventually it cuts to the spot where I'm starting to talk. I enter the whole video, you can see it has transcribed the whole thing. And as we scroll through the timeline, it also shows all of the different transcripts. So from there, I can decide to take a look at the AI tools. I might want to edit it for clarity. I know there was quite a bit of wind. I can also remove filler words, which we can have it find all of the filler words just with one click of a button and the likes, the you know, the kind of, so we'll just remove all of those. And we're also going to avoid any harsh cuts. And there you go, you can see how fast it is able to do that. And I also want to maybe shorten some of the word gaps. Just like that from the script, it has found all of the word gaps that are more than three seconds long and eight of them. And then I can manually review them and see where there's any of these gaps within dialogue. And I mean, it is just so fast. It is so quick and efficient. And then we're also going to go down and take a look at some of the sound options. So you could see some of the ones are the ones where we have like the different retakes. In this case, the video is already done, so we don't need to do that. But there's also the options of making sure I made eye contact. I mean, that is a really cool tool to just make sure that your eyes are facing the camera at all times. It's almost kind of creepy. Active center speaker, green screen, generate an image, generate a video, and also blur the background, which is more for like webcam clips. But now I'm going to try some of the repurpose settings where we're gonna create clips and also try out the highlight reel. So we're actually gonna use Underlord for this and I'm gonna ask it to create a one minute clip with some cinematics and also a quick intro of the car. So you can see Underwood lays out the plan, extract the best highlights, add a new intro scene with bold visuals, generate and insert synthesized voiceover for intro, and add captions to the entire highlight reel, essentially turning this full video into a reel in a very quick period of time. What's great about the script is that you can have anybody on your team working on it and I can log in, see the revisions and have like everyone on the same page without having to like transfer manual files and project files, relinking the original video clips, which was something that we have always been very used to doing. Okay, so it's now laid out what it did in the whole one minute highlight reel. And I like that Underlord actually explains everything because if there's a part of the process in particular where I felt like Underlord may have misinterpreted it or I'd like to change it, it's much easier to pinpoint and explain that way. So as you can see, we've taken this whole cinematic video, which has like a pretty defined structure structure of visuals, an A-roll talking about the car itself, having a bit of the press footage as well, and put it together into a striking video that is ready to go on social media that sums up the entire experience. So now let's take a look at the manual side of repurposing a clip. So I can take a look at some of these little examples and I love it whenever AI software has some layouts that I can take and if I like the aesthetics of it as someone who doesn't really have much experience in graphic design and typography, can pick something that I think works very, very well. So in this case, I think I'm going to try that layout and create a 60 second clip. And Underlord is going to create little snippets from this video. And then from these snippets, it takes some of the talking lines for me to then decide which one I would like to use. So you can see like in this case, we're talking about like the LEDs of the vehicle and how it's highlighted that line right there. And there's also a part where we talk about the EQXX and it allows you to create new style cut downs of your video. So now taking a look at an example of cutting the A-roll down and removing some of the talking lines. Say I wanna remove this line right here. I mean, I love how it is just like editing a Word document where you just go to where it is on the line and it will actually mark that spot on the timeline as well. Say I wanna take out this entire paragraph. It will highlight where it is in the video. And if I want like a really quick cut version um, using AI tools, then I can also just go down to Underlord and actually reduce the length of the video to five minutes. If I just want a really quick way of fitting in within a certain time frame, which sometimes in campaigns, you do actually have to fit in between a certain time. 
It starts by doing the basic things such as shortening the word gaps, taking out the filler words, and then trying to find more unimportant seeming moments and based on its judgment, will reduce the length of the video. And I know if you try to cut down the video a lot from like eight minutes down to three minutes, a lot of the important points might be taken out, but if you're at least like realistic with those length gaps, it will actually come out with a very good version. So you can see he's laid out long pauses, retakes, filler words, off topic sentences, less essential and repetitive details were condensed, especially in accessories case closing remarks. So that's like a cool note. We're talking about the iPhone unboxing. It took out the accessory segments. And it's also noted that the scripts and parts have been preserved. So in this case, I wanna add a little segment about the new iPhone charger. And as you can see, it was able to use my voice and generate this additional sentence, play some B-roll, and it's been added in after the fact. So when it comes to picking the caption styles, I'm just going through here and figure out which one maybe matches the video the best. And I think this is especially handy if you're trying to make a video in a different language and repurpose it for a different country. And another AI tool that we also talked about is being able to translate the video. So let's say we want to translate it to French and also have it try to dub over what I'm saying. And Underlord will create a translation for the entire video. And it's interesting because a lot of these tools are ones that we might've seen individually on different platforms before, but Descript does a great job of bringing it all together under one platform, allowing you to edit your videos and repurpose them from start to finish on one singular platform. And as you can see, here is the new transcription that has been placed on screen. And there's a whole selection of a wide range of languages that you can go ahead in place as well. And I think having the dub feature is really handy if you're also natively distributing the content to that country as well. If you need some other stuff to just add to your video, there's also the ability to add stock video, stock music, GIFs, and you can also have it generate images as well if you need to add that in. But personally, I found that because we have so much content, Descript was best for taking existing content that we already had and footage and actually repurposing it otherwise. From a publishing standpoint as well, there's also a lot of different tools that are built in, including drafting a title, summarizing, draft show notes, YouTube descriptions, social posts, blog posts, and I will admit, I do use ChatGPT a lot when it comes to ideation. I mean, at the end of the day, I've made 1500 videos over the years and a lot of times the titles are very similar. And so trying to get creative by adding all of my different ideas of what I've like included and having the ability to see five to 10 different ideas is always very helpful when it comes to coming up with a final title idea. Captions can oftentimes be very difficult, so having that built in is great. And if you are a writer, you can also have the option of brainstorming, writing a script, an outline, all within Descript. So at the end of the day, it has honestly been a really fun tool to use. And as I said, I've tried out a few different video editors in the past that had AI powered backing and it actually worked very well. Whether it was specifically for cutting long audio and reframing your video a little bit, adding captions and all that kind of stuff. But Descript is definitely the most advanced example of it and the most multi-purpose example. And I feel like for any content creator out there who is overwhelmed with the number of mediums, forms, formats from both the video, the caption, and the editing side of things, as well as business owners who just want to be able to create content, focus on the business, and not feel overwhelmed by it while saving costs. It's definitely something that you wanna go ahead and check out. If you guys wanna go ahead and check out Descript for yourself and try it out for free, I'm gonna drop a link in the description section below and information on screen. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.